The member for Davenport asks a, um, a very worthy question about what is one of the new Liberal government's flagship environmental policies for, for South Australia. In October 2016, we announced that if elected to government, we would create Glenthorne National Park, uh, an area of around 1,500 hectares of open space stretching from the member for Davenport's electorate around Happy Valley Reservoir covering that open space, moving through existing areas of Crown Island Land, O'Halloran Hill Recreation Park, Merino Conservation Park, Hallett Cove Conservation Park, and areas of the Field River Valley. But most importantly, our vision captures the, um, the site of Glenthorne Farm, 208 hectares of open space, which for far too long has had a cloud hanging over it and has been at threat from, from development for one reason or another. That land uh, that encompasses Glenthorne Farm has been held uh, in stewardship by the University of Adelaide since the early 2000s. And uh, it's fair to say that the University of Adelaide has struggled to, to find a, a clear purpose for that land and, and its potential has not been maximised. I'm delighted to be able to tell the member for Davenport and, and the House today that initial conversations have been had with the University of Adelaide about bringing that land uh, into a, a body um, of management uh, which would become Glenthorne National Park. Uh, we shouldn't underestimate the significant environmental legacy that this will leave uh, South Australians, particularly those living in the southern suburbs. Uh, individual conservation parks by themselves are, are valuable, but the idea of a nature corridor extending from the hills to the coast uh, and, and encompassing 1,500 hectares of land uh, will be an incredible asset uh, to our, our southern suburbs environment. Uh, that, uh, that nature corridor door has the opportunity to create recreational opportunities for people living in the local area and visitors alike. Majors Road, which runs from the coast through towards Flagstaff Hill, will be the recreational spine of the, the new park. Existing, um, existing recreational activities, such as riding for the disabled, which is there at the moment, uh, and the, the model aeroplane club, the, um, the archery and the pistol club, will have the potential to be complemented by other recreational activities uh, in the future. Walking trails, cycling trails, there's already a substantial mountain biking facility at O'Halloran Hill Rec Creation Park, and there's the option to establish soccer facilities and potentially BMX facilities uh, down the track as well. But it really is uh, the well-being of the southern suburbs and the, the natural environment which will benefit most from this policy. Uh, the opportunity to undertake a large-scale revegetation project on Glenthorne Farm, and I hope to be able to partner with the University of Adelaide and local environmental groups to fulfil that. Community engagement will be critical to the fulfilment of Glenthorne National Park. We will, uh, the new government will work with the various stakeholder groups and the friends groups that exist at O'Halloran Hill Recreation Park, Merino, Hallett Cove Conservation Parks, the Lower Field River, and on Glenthorne Farm itself. And I pay tribute to the, the friends of Glenthorne for their uh, perseverance over many years, which really pushed Glenthorne and the need to save Glenthorne into the public domain. Community consultation will also involve a, a community forum at some point in the coming weeks, and I look forward to working with members from across this House, both sides of Parliament, as we uh, develop what should be an incredible environmental legacy for all of South Australians. Member for Badcoe.